Hello guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Crystal Light Guidance. So, today's message is about tapping into a text from our ex. Now, when we're reading this message, right now, currently, we're in um, post-Valentine season. So we're like, I want to say maybe a week and a half since Valentine's Day. Um, so, um, of course, a lot of people were feeling the love some people were not um there were some new beginnings of love um and some people were single um and then there were some breakups okay um so what we're doing is just tapping into the energy of an x whatever x that may be for you so um let the messages resonate as they shall uh, we're going to go in zodiac order and we're going to start off with Pisces because we're in Pisces season So we're going to kick it off with water signs, right? Um, I will put time stamps so that you guys can just go to that sign if that's what you wish to do Okay, also I want to say this is one of my first YouTube videos for all zodiac signs most of uh, my subscribers kind of know me as crystal light guidance on Instagram so I don't do a lot of YouTube um, videos but today I was feeling called to do one um, please like and subscribe to my page it means the world to me and I will be posting more uh, topics uh, coming soon to YouTube so stay tuned um, but with that being said let's jump into the message so um, let's see. So my dear Pisces, we're going to tap into messages of your ex. Now, just take a second to kind of, if you can, close your eyes or just take a deep breath. And think about the ex or person in your past you would like to hear from. A text from the ex for our Pisces. Let's jump into that message, Pisces. Let's see what text message, if your ex could send you, what would they say? What is their energy to you? What would Pisces X like to say to them today? Let's get a message for our Pisces. Text from our Pisces X. Hmm, they want to say something. It's on the tip of their tongue, but they can't quite get that message to you. Do you have them blocked? Maybe you have them blocked. Maybe they're just hesitant to say something to you specifically. It might take a minute for them to get this message out to you. They could be texting you, then erasing it, not sending the messages. Maybe you just don't even care <laughs> what they're even talking about. <laughs> a message for our Pisces. Text from our Pisces ex. Thank you. The text to you, Pisces, is it's hard being just friends. Ooh. Do you have them in the friend zone, Pisces? So they don't like just being your friend. They want to be a little bit more than that, right? They're like, mm, I'm tired of just being the one that you kind of call on when you need emotional support or guidance or just a conversation or... Uh, stuff like that. Um, somebody want to take it to the next level. Maybe they want another uh, go at this or they want to maybe get out of just being friends. Maybe they want sex. I don't know, right? You know. <laughs> and let's get a message of advice. Let's get a message of advice here. And actually, I'll just put this right here so you can see that now let's get out advice message so what is your 
spiritual team advising you at this time they're saying set strong boundaries and this is a crystal called black kyanite so they're telling you to set your boundaries okay um so with this message i'm getting just keep it you know keep that distance going you got to set your boundaries with this person whatever had happened happened um and maybe things it's just kind of like calm now you guys are friends now you can talk now um but it could have been something that was traumatic or hard or toxic or, or or hard to detach or let go from this person um and it's like you have to keep your boundaries strong because this person can easily seek their way in you know like they have some type of magnet to you or some type of way of you know tugging at you and you know um, even yourself, maybe you might be just saying it's hard to be friends too, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you want to keep that connection there, but I feel like, um, you're being told to really set your boundaries with this person. I don't see you should make another go at it with this person, set your boundaries. Um, just be friends. That's what I'm getting for you, Pisces. Okay. Let's Lessons to you, Pisces. We're going to move on to our water sign with our cancers. Messages for our cancers. So let's get a text from the ex. So, Cancer, just kind of take a deep breath or close your eyes if you can. And think about your ex or a person in the past that you would like to hear from today. Think about if they could text you, what would that message be? We're here to get a message from our ex for our cancers. Text from the ex, message for cancer. I wrote you texts but never sent them. Uh, so you have an ex that either you must have put a block on them or they put a block on you or you guys are just, um, you know, or somebody effed up really bad or, you know, somebody knows that this is like, you know, I can't go back. I can't go back, right? Um, so yeah, they reach out to you. And then if you, if I'm getting something here, um, this could be a male, a male with long hair, dreads, a mixed color, light skin, something like that. Um, or somebody that, uh, if it's a feminine, if it's a female, she just could have masculine energy, um, you know, vice versa, but, um, don't have to be, but that's just something I'm picking up on. The name could start with a D, Donovan, Don, um, Donald, Dave, Davon. Vaughn, yeah, so that's just some stuff that I'm picking up, so, um, you know, let it resonate how it shall. Let's get your spiritual guidance, though, so they wrote you texts, but um, they never sent them to you, so that means that you never, that means you have some heavy boundaries, though, because they know they can't cross that threshold, you know, with cancer, they can't cross that, ooh, child, they can't cross that threshold with cancer so let's see here go deeper uh epidote go deeper right go deeper and i feel like um the answer lies deep within you know the answer lies deep within and i feel like with this right here it's just kind of like strong focuses on yourself cancer keep focusing on you right now it's going to take you um you know for some of you it might just take you a while getting over a certain person or getting over some, something about a certain person or really letting something go but you have to trust the system you have to trust everything you have to go a little bit more deeper and search for your own personal happiness you know just keep just do things to keep you happy you know that keep your mind focused on you know not this person if it's vice versa uh, for the cancers that an ex from the past is trying to reach out to you, it's kind of like you just have to just um, literally um, keep minding your business and distance is the best thing. 
because I feel like this person could uh, potentially hurt you or um, they have hurt hurt you to the core, you know, to the core, you know. So something about some type of core hurt um, from somebody and it's really like, um, I feel like you should really, you should just mind your business um, <clears throat> to somebody that's like thinking about sending a text to somebody, but you haven't sent it. It's like, no, it's a no for me. All right, Cancer, that is your message. I hope that you be blessed. I hope that it helped aid in providing you some clarity and some peace. We're going to get messages now for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Hello, my dear Scorpio. So just take a moment to take a deep breath or close your eyes if you can. And kind of think about the ex or the person from the past. That one person. And <laughs> what is the messages we want? So, okay. So for you guys, Scorpio, bam. I couldn't even get into what you guys say. Let's get straight to it. F all the breathing. <laughs> Let's get to it, okay? So for, for you guys, this is going to resonate, I think, two ways. Um, I feel like this is going to be two separate messages. But then for a small few of you guys, this is this one person want to say two things to you. So uh, the first message is I need to move on, but we still have unfinished business. So somebody feel like they want to move on, but they can't. It's like something is still drawing them to you guys. Um, and then the other message is I can't picture you with someone else. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is just two, this is two X's and you're going to have to let it weigh whichever one you feel. Um, if you're confused, I feel like there's one person that's more masculine and another energy that's more feminine. Um, this also could be, um, maybe not a relationship, some type of, um, connection, shall I say. It might not have been a relationship, some type of connection. There's a woman and a man showing up here. Um, and, um, I feel like there was a really strong connection, maybe possible marriage, fiance, something like that. So um, if that resonates, then that person is showing up. Um, but somebody that was really, really, really deep in connection. And then there's another person that just really feel lost, you know, without you. And um, I kind of feel like this is a recent breakup or somebody that you recently stopped talking to. Um yeah so that's what i'm that's what i'm picking up okay this is what i'm picking up right here um also if you're looking for any names there could be a name to start with a j a name to start with a b um jb um then we have becca um beck rebecca um jack jack <laughs> duh jack jack uh, but then there's jack um john um yeah that's all I'm getting. Okay. But as we got that, let's see what your uh, spiritual advice message is. Okay. So let's get some spiritual advice. What is your spiritual team advising you in regards to these text messages that just came through? Okay. What is your spiritual team advising you? Ooh, child. Some big advice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I feel like it says, recall your dreams, left of the light. And I feel like it's in your dreams, like in your dreams. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're saying in your dreams, like you wish, like you feel like you are done with these people. If it's two people or you're done with this person, if it's one person, you're like, um, whatever, you know, you ain't, you ain't got time for it. I feel like the spirit is letting you know that, um, in your dreams, though, um, you might meet the person in your dreams or just start paying attention to your dreams. There's something about your dreams. Also, too, maybe this uh, one of these people or these or this person can't sleep without you. They think about you. They might try to channel you in their dreams when they go to sleep. They think about you or think about good times. Um, but I just really feel like um, if you had a question about either one of these people, it's just like, you know, no not here in this lifetime not now like you know just keep focusing on yourself or if it's just one person it's still the answer is no like just focus on yourself um 
and there's something powerful really going on when you're sleeping and in your dreams so that is your message uh my dear scorpios okay all righty moving on to our air signs no fire signs sorry moving on to fire signs moving to aries so we are moving on to aries hello aries how are you so aries my friends um just take a deep breath close your eyes if you can and just try to think about the ex that you would like to hear from or a person from the past they could say something to you out there aries what would this person say one card if we can what would this person say for our dear aries I feel like your person too um want to say things or they might have a problem um holding back like they just you know people that just don't think about it they just say it maybe um this person is in that type of energy where they voice their opinion um or they can't hold hold their tongue or they can't bite their tongue um i feel like um your ex is saying um they can't picture them they can't I can't picture you with someone else. So they just cannot see you guys breaking up. They just don't understand what happened. Again, this could be somebody you was really, really, really strongly connected with. This could have been like somebody you were maybe a fiance or a husband or a wife. Um, or you guys were on your way to that way or you called yourselves husband and wife. Um, you know, it was just like a strong relationship. So this is somebody from your past that, um, you know, was connected to you heavily and they just cannot picture or fathom the fact that you now could be with someone else other than them what is your spiritual advice here we go um clear the clutter so there and this is a uh, selenite okay which is if you're if you're into crystals that's selenite so to let you know it's time to clear the clutter like stop um going back and forth in your mind stop being indecisive as well also letting go of the past right so that you can have a free future it's time to just you know clear uh get dump the trash you know dump the trash that's what spirit is advising you that is your message my dear air signs my aries love you guys i hope that message bring clarity and peace to you we're gonna now move on to our leos Hi Leos. So we are here with messages from your ex, a text from the ex. Let me get something to drink. Ooh, child. All right, because I've been doing these readings, child. All the zodiac signs. <clears throat> Got a little thirsty. Had to get something to drink. Okay, but anyway, get back to your message. So for our Leos. Um, just take a second to kind of close your eyes if you can. Take a deep breath. If you can't close your eyes, just take a deep breath. Kind of clear your mind and think about the ex that you would like to hear from today. If this person could text you, what would they say? And or if they wanted to text you, what is their overall feelings or emotions for our Leos right now. Overall feeling and emotions for our Leos. Text from the ex. Leos. What would Leo X like to say? I'll take it right now. My anxieties got in the way. So they're the, their fight within, their mind, their mental um, capability, you know, their mindset just really messed them up. You know, maybe they were just hallucinating or accusations, a lot of accusations, um, a lot of hesitations, a lot of 
um, just mental stuff that was going on. It was just like all in their mind, all in their head. Maybe they were making things up or whatever the case may be. But just like, again, the anxieties really got in the way of, of, um, of them. Um, I'm getting a masculine energy. Um, somebody with a beard could have been a male energy with a beard, short haircut, um, black hair, um, light skin or Caucasian, um, or, um, maybe Arabic or something, any, any type of, uh, male with a beard type of energy. Uh, letter could start with B name could have been Benjamin or a name that starts with B. Um, but don't have to be as well, you know, but that's just, uh, what we're picking up on the from the card but it could be um you know it could be a woman with a short haircut and her name start with b at the end of the day <laughs> that's what we have for you um but what is your spiritual advice let's get spiritual advice advice for our Leos okay so it looked like you have two cards that came out Leo the first one is Lumeran Quartz which is practice patience so just be patient I feel like just be patient all will be well for you things is going to work out for you if it's meant to be it will be um, you know just be patient shift your money mindset and this is Iolite so shift your money mindset, okay? So I feel like just be, they're just telling you it's time to take a shift in your energy. Like if you were ever worried about these people, you know, don't, you know, it's not time to worry about this person if that was the case. Um, if you're not worried about them, then they're telling you that, you know, well, your ex would just like to tell you that their anxieties or their mental uh, mindset was kind of got in their way. Um, but spirit is just reminding you to just be patient with yourself, be patient with the process. And it's time to shift your mindset into money. It's time to start thinking about how to make money work for you. You know, just keep money on your mind right now. Don't worry about, you know, this person, place or thing. It's just time to, you know, take life shifts, um, into your own hands. So that is your message, my dear Leos. Thank you so much. And I hope that it brought you some type of peace or clarity. Okay. Moving on to our Sagittarius. Messages for our Sagittarius. Hello, Sag. How are you guys? I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, so at this point, let's just kind of close our eyes or calm our mind for just a second and channel the X that we are here today to think about. Take a deep breath. And kind of clear your mind. Think about the ex or the person from the past. My dear Sagittarius. What would that person say to you today? And the card flipped right here. It was two cards. Okay. Alright, so we have two cards. Now, this could be um, two people. This could be two people that have shown up in your energy. This could be... Um, one this could be one person specifically so i feel like um there is definitely a male and a female here so it might be two separate people like uh two different people's stories so don't get involved with all of this just take heed to what makes sense to you okay so the first card says you will always have my heart you will always have my heart Okay, um, and then this is from Tabitha. Um, this could be a female. This could be um, a feminine energy. Don't necessarily have to be a female itself. Um, this could be somebody whose name starts with T. Um, I don't know why I heard Toshiba with Tabitha, um, Tanya, Tasha, um, Tomika. Um, Becca, Biff, um, but anyway, so th that's just some things that that's coming up. But it's just letting you know that this person feels like you was all you'll always be the key to their heart. You always you got a piece of them, you know. You're always gonna have um, 
carry a piece of them with you. Um, and then again, this could be the same person, but not necessarily. This could be a different person. This could be a male energy or fit or feminine energy that was very strong. Um, name could start with a G. Uh, we have Genesis on the line that says our chemistry was primal. You know, I feel like there was some really good sex um, or there was uh, I feel like there was a lot of arguing, a lot of arguing um, going on. You know, a lot of um, what is that? Um, alpha, a lot of that alpha energy going on. So if, if you're confused, then, you know, you'll know how to pinpoint the two people if it's two people for you. But if it's just one person for these both cards, then so there, so let it be. Um, but I feel like... Um, you know, there was a strong connection. Either way, both of these connections were strong. I feel like one was more like more emotional, emotionally strong. And then the other one was more maybe sexual chemistry. But if this is for um, one specific person, I feel like, too, if it is for one specific person, you feel like this is for um, one ex that is um, both of these people then I feel like this person's kind of like, they were kind of like Jekyll and Hyde. You know, it was like one minute they was good, the next minute they was, you know, a, a different type of person um, is what I'm getting. But let's get some spiritual messages for you, Sagittarius. What would your spiritual team like to say to you in this moment with these X messages here? Okay, thank you. Embrace change. Phantom courts embrace change. So again, it's time to change. And also, th this must have been... This Somebody was a Leo. I'm getting a really strong Leo vibes. So I will be interested to know. Please comment for Sag if um, this was a Leo energy. But I'm getting some real strong Leo vibes up in here. Um, and then I also feel like Tiger Eye 2 would be um, something about Tiger Eye and these colors and the lions and all of this stuff. These colors is bringing heavy. But anyway, so they're telling you to embrace change. It's time to change, you know. It's just time to change. So this is your deck or your spread, my dear Sagittarius. It's time to change, okay? So with that being said, it's time to change. So embrace your change. Embrace your freedom. Freedom. Embrace your happiness, okay? Moving on to our earth signs, Taurus. Messages for our Taurus. Hey, Taurus, how are you guys? Love our earth signs. Alrighty, so dear Taurus, let's go ahead and just take a second to clear our mind, clear our energy, kind of close your eyes if you can. If you can't, then just at least take a deep breath with me. And just kind of think of the ex that you would like to hear from today. Think about the person from the past that if they could send you a message and or if they wanted to send you a message right now, what would they say? So again, this must be two different people or this could be the same person. Um, mask, it could be a male that name start with a V, Vaughn, Vincent, anything like that. There could be a feminine energy that name starts with an E, Erica, um, or something like that um so one person says i just can't stop thinking about you okay somebody just really keep thinking about you this might be a recent breakup or a recent split and then there's another thing that says our relationship was so damn so darn complex you know things was just really 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 hard they just really couldn't um you know figure it all out i feel like this is definitely two different people so it's probably two different people showing up for you so if there's somebody that you recently stopped talking to they really feel like they just can't stop thinking about you and, and recent could be um as of yesterday to you know a couple of months ago um and then um or this could be the same person that just feel like you know they're just you know the relationship was just so complex they just still they they you know, with all that complexity, they still loved you. They still wanted it to work so bad and it just didn't. And they just feel like a bummer that it failed, you know. Um, but take the message for however it resonates. And again, uh, the next message was from Enid that says our relationship was just so damn complex, right? So it was just so hard and just couldn't, it just couldn't figure its way out. Like one plus one just did not equal two. It always equaled three. Every time you did the math on it, it just did not equal um two you know so there is some heavy regret um going on with somebody 
um, somebody really wishing that it would have worked and they tried or, you know, they wanted it to work so bad. It was just kind of like opposite to track type of thing. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, let's get some spiritual advice. Let's see what spirit will be advising you right now in this moment. Yeah, so set set strong boundaries. Yeah, it's time to like release and let go with these energies or this energy that is surrounding you. So spirit is definitely telling you the best decision is for you to focus on you. Keep your boundaries strong. Set your boundaries. You know, um, you don't have to deal with certain things if you don't want to. You know, if you have to change your phone number, if you have to block certain things out of your energy or out of your life, you have to set the boundaries. So that's what spirit is advising you to do when it comes to this situation okay so that is your message um my dear taurus all the best to you guys so moving on to our virgos messages for our virgos hi virgos how are you guys i love my earth family so we're here for messages for text from our ex so let's just take a quick minute to clear our energy if you could just take a deep breath with me if you cannot take a deep breath right now, I'm sorry, if you're going to just close your eyes, and if you can't close your eyes right now, at least take a deep breath with me. And think about the ex that you would like to hear from today. If that person could talk to you, what would they say? So for our dear Virgo, uh, it seemed like that we just had one card here and it says our chemistry was primal, right? I feel like there was a lot of, again, song, there was a lot of strong sexual chemistry, um, a lot of um, creativeness around each other. It was a lot of emotional, like a lot of fire. There was a lot of fire um in that energy um there this could have been a leo um this could have been a gemini i'm getting both uh, leo and gemini energy um yeah but they just really feel it also the name could start with a g as well um or some something in that name or initial has a g or nickname could have been a female but also could have been a male as well very fashion forward type person maybe they wear glasses or sunglasses or something like that yeah they but i do feel that they feel that you know you guys had some really strong chemistry and a lot of good sex but i also feel there was a lot of like um noise or arguing or you know like communication wasn't um some type of screaming yelling arguing or you know being the boss type energy Spirit is um, reminding you or advising you to open up your heart. There's a rose cord. Open up your heart. And maybe there's an issue with the heart chakra. Maybe, you know, after this particular person, um, you know, maybe your heart never been the same. Um, maybe you have somebody new in your energy and you're questioning if you should, you know, open up your heart to them. And this message could be saying that, yes, it's time to open up your heart. Or this message could be speaking to certain group of people that have their heart closed and the spirit is telling you that if you want something um new or something good to come into your life you have to open up your heart for love right um or also healing your heart for those of you that have been heartbroken or just um you know feel some type of way about love if we should put it like that okay that is your message my dear virgos thank you virgo i hope this message brings peace and clarity to you all Alrighty, so now we're moving on to our Capricorns. Hello, Capricorn family. Don't you just love a good Capricorn? I know, I do. I love you guys. So we are here for messages from our ex Capricorn. So please just take a deep breath with me. If you can, close your eyes and try to think of the ex that you would like to hear from today. Think about this person, if they could text you or if they wanted to just send you a text message. 
what would that message be? <laughs> they want to they I think they're trying to send you a whole they want to or they have been trying to send you a whole lot of messages or somebody's like blowing you up. And if they're not blowing you up right now, they're like blowing you up mentally. <laughs> like <laughs> like they blowing you up and you just don't even know about it. Uh what messages from the X for our Capricorn? Capricorn, I can't take all these many cards. Y'all need to start with this, okay? I'll I'll take I'll take that one. I'll take that one. All right. I'm going where I'm led. Okay. So we have two cards for you. The first card says, not going to lie, committed and committed, commitment scared me. Sorry. Okay. So there was somebody that was kind of on the fence with you, you know, it's like they're, you know, they got just that close with you and it, you know, they kind of felt either pushed off the edge or or the fact that, you know, they was just scared because you showed up to be like this really prominent, strong, good person. And that scared them, you know, that you showed up authentic. You showed up you. You showed up, uh, you know, being a really good person, reliable, practical, you know, just like a really good partner. And you did everything right. You did nothing wrong. But for that reason, you know, um, that kind of like scared them, you know, that really scared them. This could be a male who name starts with a B. They might go by Billy or Bill, could name could be William, um, could be a light-skinned male, don't have to be, just, you know, throwing it out there. Could have been an air sign, um, could have been, um, had like a little mustache, goatee kind of like uh, vibe if you're just trying to figure out like who the person is we're talking about, but that don't mean so. I'm just saying that could be for some people that could resonate. Then there's another energy out here that says you're giving them everything you promised me. You're giving them everything you promised me. So this to me feels like a, a strong connection that you had to somebody. I feel like this is somebody coming in that you play house with. You know, this could have been like an ex-husband or a fiance or a wife or, um, you know, somebody that or or um you know a really strong connection somebody you guys lived with you made a house together or something like that and i feel like they're watching on the outside so they might be seeing your social media or hearing through the grapevine they still talk to somebody around you or something like that they still get the scoop on you and they know now that you're with somebody else or either you're you was with somebody else and that connection is um, similar to how your guys connection was and they feel like damn you gave them everything that you told me you was going to give me or everything you did with me you're doing with them you know what I'm saying but you're doing better and they're seeing that you know and that's what they want you to know that they see you you know they see you but they just don't it's kind of like they watch it they stalk it but they just don't tell you that they know what's going on with you let's get into spiritual advice spiritual advice messages what is spirit advising you? I'll take it. Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. So spirit is advising you to focus on yourself. Don't focus on none of this stuff that is surrounding you. All this stuff that is surrounding you. It's time to focus on yourself. Also, I'm getting a big vibe about your skin or your um, sales or like your your inside, like your something inside you um like blood count or you know saying something like that like a health i'm getting something with health um to like focus on that too like that needs attention so you need to literally start focus on healing and repairing yourself and focusing on going deep within yourself capricorn schedule some time for you schedule some time for you to make you happy and get yourself together that is what you need to do okay that is your message dear capricorn i hope that it aid in brightening your day raising your vibrations and also giving you clarity love you guys okay moving on to our air sign with our gemini's messages for our gemini's hello dear gemini's how are you guys don't you just love good gemini's love you guys you guys are my favorite love you guys I can't really say that you're my favorite because all the zodiac signs are my favorite, but I love good Gemini. I can't, can't say that I don't, okay? So, Geminis, if you could, please just take um, a deep breath with me. If you can close your eyes, if you can. If you can't close your eyes, just take a deep breath. And think about the ex that you would like to hear from today. 
Gemini, y'all got a lot of exes going on here. Y'all got a lot going on. A lot of exes want to hear from you. Want to talk to you. You blocked a lot of goddamn people. And they all want to come through. But I'm not taking all these cards today. So we're just going to start this over. Okay, Gemini? Okay? So, Gemini, take a deep breath. Think about that one X. Maybe two if you can't decide. Okay? Let's put a cap on it. Think about that person. If they could say something to you or if they wanted to text you, what would it be? What would this text message be for our Geminis? Still getting a full deck for you guys. Can't take it. Please, one card for our Geminis. One card for, thank you, for our Geminis. Damn. Guys, Gemini, just know. There's a lot of people that want to talk to you guys. You got them on block or mute or, you know, you just mind your business. You just ain't, don't give no no cares. But they trying to get through to you, okay? But we just going to channel this one message. So this message um, could be a name that started with a J, Jamal, J, uh, John, um, James, um, Jimmy. Um, they said that I was selfish. You were not my priority. So they just want you to know that um, they were selfish. You was not their priority. I feel like they were looking at other people, looking at other women. Um, or this could be, you know, a male with, that was dealing with a female. But at the end of the day, I feel like this person was definitely um, not focused on you. They were focused on something else. And it, it could have been another woman, but it don't have to be. But they were just, or even they were entertaining social media too much or whatever they was doing. They were just being selfish. You know, they was not putting you as a priority. And Gemini is one thing I know. If y'all, if somebody don't put you as a priority, <laughs> please, y'all, y'all don't play with that. Okay. If they don't make you feel like you are important, you the number one in the sun, mm, you be out. Skirt. Okay. So <laughs> with that being said, um, I just feel like, you know, they really wish that they could have took back the fact that they didn't make you a priority. Okay. So let's get messages from the spiritual team and see if there's any advice that spiritual team would like you to uh, focus on. Any advice? that spirit would like to add oh child yes so i'm not gonna walk all the way over there and get that so i'll just take i'll just take all these because you know okay so create your own luck of everything create your own luck right and i feel like this card is definitely saying just worry worry about your own happiness and your own money and um growing and investing and just being better like just you know you're in a, you're in an environment right now where you are creating your own luck and creating your own happiness okay amazonite loosen your grip and i feel like you know don't um don't be so hard on yourself don't be so tight on certain things there's some there's something that you need to just loosen up a little bit okay loosen up a little bit and this could be just loosening up your your mode or your attitude or emotion or something like that as well and then uh leopard the light recall your dreams and i feel like uh spirit talks to you in your dreams there's things that you need to start taking heed to to your dreams also if you're waiting for somebody like a, a male or female energy to show up to you or waiting for the one that could be coming to you in a dream so there's a lot of downloads that's going on in your dreams um also saying your prayers before you go to sleep right be specific what you're asking for okay so i'm getting those messages that's what i'm getting for you uh, my dear gemini's i hope this message is bring clarity and also happiness to you bye bye Moving on to our Libras. Messages for our Libras. Hey, Libra. How are you guys doing? I love me some good Libras. You guys are the best. Um, but let's jump into messages for our Libras. Text from the X, okay? So, uh, Libras, just close your eyes. And if you can't close your eyes, just at least take a deep breath with me. Just kind of silence your mind for a moment as we think about the ex to somebody from your past if they could text you right now and or if they would text you right now 
What would that message be to our Libras? Thank you. It hurts seeing you love someone else. Ooh, child. And this look like a male energy. Don't have to be a male, but it could be a male specifically. Um, name could start with a P. Don't have to. It could have a P somewhere in that initial. Could be a, some type of Peter, Paul, um, whatever. There's all kind of names with P's, right? But the main thing I want you to know is that they're, they see you. They're watching you. You know, they're watching you. And I feel like they're watching you through like... Um, either like a phone or, you know, um, I, I don't know. They're, they're watching you though. They see, you know, it's like they see, you. I don't know if they are looking at you from social media or a picture of you and somebody else. I'm not sure, but it hurts saying, uh, you love someone else. You know, they know that you literally love someone else that you moved on. You're happy and that hurts the hell out them. And that person don't like to be hurt. They are angry because they are angry because that, that green, they have like, look at that green. See that green around that person's eye, right? It's kind of like that green eye, the evil eye, right? But not really evil eye in that way. But I'm saying, you know, like they talk about the color green is like um, envy and then the amulet. And then like this, um, I'm saying like a um, rope kind of like person with this green amulet eyes kind of like he's envying you so I, that's what i'm getting like this person they see you i feel like they see you with a watchful eye like they see you with a, a angry eye like they you know lurking for you looking you know and they're angry that you are with someone else what is spirit advising at this time Libra? All right, I'll just get this one. Fluorite on peace with them. So they're telling you just stay, you know, just keep staying to yourself. Finding your peace that is within yourself, your own happiness, you know, just doing the things that make you happy. Look at that rainbow color. It's like, you know, you are in rainbow mode right now. You know, rainbows are special. You know, you are glowing. You are taking care of yourself. You are doing the right things. You can care less. And they're just telling you to keep that momentum going. Okay. That is your message, my dear Libra. Thank you, guys. I hope this message aid in bringing you um, peace and clarity. All the best. And moving on to our Aquarius. Messages for our Aquarius. Hey Aquarius, how are you guys doing? So we're ending it. We're ending our text from the X messages with you, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and kind of just channel that energy really quick. So if you can't close your eyes, close your eyes with me. And if you can't, at least just take a deep breath. As we think about the ex, the person from your past, as we channel that energy, if that person could talk to you or text you, what would they say? Messages for our Aquarius. I feel like this person is keeping quiet, you know, and it's like you're going to have to force this message out of them. They are really trying to like mind their own business and not reach out to you. They're just, you know, um, keeping their distance and it's kind of like silence is golden. So they're really not trying to say anything to you and I feel like they have so much that they want to say to you so much that they need to say to you and but they also feel like it's pointless you know for real for real um but that's what I'm picking up on but uh we do need a card so if we can get one message that this person would like to say let's kind of sum it all up what this person would be willing to say or text you for our Aquarius Anything for our Aquarius. Thank you. I want I want you no strings attached. See? And that car flew out. And I feel like they really don't. I feel like they wanted you. You know? When, when they had you. When you guys were together. They wanted you. But you had strings elsewhere. You know? They just wanted you just for yourself. And you, you know, um, either didn't give them the time or the 
or the love that you were supposed to. Maybe you were playing games or on the fence or maybe you wasn't as serious as this person was. Whatever the case was, this person feels hurt. You know, they feel like, um, you know, they really, really wanted you with, with, without all the gimmicks that came with it, you know, and, um, that's why they're probably not saying anything to you right now, or they're trying to keep their distance from you. Um, this could be a female energy, um, don't have to be, could be a male, um, name could start with some type of V, don't have to be, favorite color could be purple, um, and black, um, yeah, and, I want to say possible Capricorn, but um, don't have to be, though, neither. That's just some, some things that I'm picking up on. Um, let's get a spiritual advice message. So Spirit is advising you that um, Lepidolite recall your dreams. So I feel like this person is like huh, in your dreams that they'll ever get back with you. But also I feel like maybe you might, you, cause they, they feel, I feel like this person is just really hurt. And they're like, please, they wouldn't even think about giving you another chance. Now for some people, okay, that's for one group of people. But for some people, it could be just talking about um, this person um dream about you or they like to you know or they or you guys might meet up in your dreams and your subconscious mind you know what I'm saying you guys might meet up or see each other um in your dreams or maybe they're just saying they dream about you they think about you in their dreams or it could be vice versa you could still be dreaming about this person or thinking about this person when you're asleep um i feel like on another message spirit is talking about um they're sending you downloads and messages in your sleep and in your dreams. So you need to start paying attention to your dreams because it really means something. So for some of you guys, if you can get like a tarot, not a not a tarot, a dream journal, if you can get some type of dream journal and start logging in your dreams if you're starting to have these dreams. Um, also, this could be letting you know that somebody spiritually, if you are single, somebody spiritually could be coming to you in your dreams, okay? You might be seeing this person in your dreams or, their, or the person of your dream will be arriving at some point, okay? So these messages resonate however they do. Um, take only what makes sense to you. Um, but this is your message, my dear Aquarius. Thank you guys for tuning in with me as we went from zodiac sign, from all zodiac signs, from Pisces ending in Aquarius. Um, thank you guys for sitting here, uh, tapping in with me. I do have time stamps uh, below. So if you want to check out your sun, moon, or rising signs uh, to see if any messages from the X resonate there. Don't forget to subscribe with uh, Crystal Light Guidance. I am on YouTube, also Crystal 